road trip time. We're heading south to a state known for, well, it's legendary cowboy culture. <laughs> it's very large cities and diverse landscapes. Good to have travel expert Jennifer Weatherhead Harrington back on the show because we're going to the low star state. We're going <laughs> to Texas. Yes, we are. And I was saying to you that I was in Houston, Texas. This is a few years ago. I went in August. It is hot <laughs> in it is hot in August. So steamy. this is a good time to go to Texas. Yeah, yeah, it's a really good time. And what's really convenient, I think, is that Air Canada has daily nonstop flights to Houston. It's a really short flight. It's not that long. You could take an early morning flight, yeah. get there in time for brunch, have that, and then hit off on a road trip like I did. And Houston is such a big city. It's it's massive. It really, really is. But I think Sometimes people can get overwhelmed by going to a big city, but what you could do is rent a car and then you can drive around to all of these little spots outside of Houston okay. and then come back and spend some time in the city. So that's kind of what I did in the summer. I went in June though, it wasn't, okay. it was still hot, but yeah. not quite as hot. Okay, so what did you, where, where'd you go? <laughs> the first spot I went was to this tiny little town, it was called Round Top. It's about an hour and a half, two hours outside of Houston, midway between Houston and Austin. And it is such a tiny town, it's less than 100 people here. Beautiful little spot, you're definitely in that Texas this countryside which is amazing and one thing I love about it is that they are actually home to the world's largest antique fair in the fall. Is this what we're looking at here yeah. now? So 300,000 people come to this tiny little town during the antique fair. It's got incredible little shops that you can go to. You gotta get a cowboy hat. Of course yes I got my little cowboy my cat cowboy shirt <laughs> okay. when I was there. Uh, it's a really cool spot and another thing that's interesting about there is that they have a beautiful concert hall and music school you would not expect it. it looks like it's from Europe. It's called the um, Festival Institute. Definitely see a concert while you're there too. Okay, uh, so then you went to to Bryan, Texas. Yeah, is that so another small town? Another small town, a little definitely bigger than Round Top, right. but it is a small town. It's a more of like a college town. It's really known for its football, but it's also really known as kind of like a hipster town. So lots of craft breweries, okay. really cool restaurants there. Fun fact for families: the first Friday of every month, they have a free event happening in the downtown core, the historic downtown. Lots of live entertainment and food and things for kids and families. But it's also the entry point into Texas wine country. So the Blue Bonnet really? Wine Trail, Texas has a huge wine scene and it's people so don't hot. think it's about so it. It's so hot there. It is, but there are particular grapes that grow really, really yeah, well okay. there. So try some Texas Rosé. This is the spot to do it. Texas Rosé. We should mention too for sports fans, uh, Johnny Football, Ticap fans who yes. play for the, he, he's from, he's from, he's from Bryan, Texas. Okay, then you went to a suburb in Houston. Yes, so it's called the Woodlands and it's called the Woodlands because it sits on 28,000 acres of beautiful woodlands. So yeah. there's tons of trees here. It's such a, a little gem outside of Houston, I would say. And it's really the perfect spot if you wanna see a concert. They have a beautiful outdoor concert venue, lots of shopping. It's really walkable, but like we mentioned, it can get very hot. So they do also have a nice little free trolley that will take you around. But this is a spot to kind of go this year because they're celebrating their 50th anniversary. So they have a lot of celebrations that are happening this fall. Cool spot to check out if you are in the Houston area. So let's get back into Houston too talk about some of the cuisine because they do have a lot of great restaurants. Yeah, they really do. So it's the fourth largest city in the U.S. and it's the most diverse city in the U.S. So you can imagine that More the than cuisine. New York city? Yeah, really? yeah, it's amazing. So you can imagine that the cuisine here is top notch and the Michelin Guide is actually going through Texas and I can pretty much guarantee there are going to be some spots in Houston. I didn't get to try all these spots or spend too much time in Houston so this is what I want to do when I go back when I'm planning my next trip. Yeah, because like, just a lot of the time Texas gets this rap too, like conservative Texas. Texas, but it's, it's so big and so vast and there's a lot of different towns. Houston's another town, uh, sorry, uh, Austin is another town that's kind of uh, very eclectic and uh, kind of really neat that I want to get to too. And you've been to a few spots in Texas. Yeah, yeah, I've been around that state a little bit and this yeah. is probably one of my favorite parts because it is so diverse and each of these little spots that I went to, they were all so vastly different. I mean, Round Top you can get incredible pie and really warm biscuits for breakfast. Ooh, what kind of pie? Pecan pie. Pecan pie. Or pecan pie. Oh, I should say pecan pie. You have to order it properly <laughs> in Texas. And then, you know, you go to Bryan, you have some great wine, and then you go to the Woodlands and have some great food, Good. right? Anybody interested, where, where can they go? They can go to TravelTexas.com. They have a whole little trip builder there, can help you plan out that road trip and give you a lot of info on all those restaurants. Okay, we, we love following your adventures. Uh, Jennifer Weatherhead uh, Harrington. Uh, we'll hook it up with our website, chch.com slash morning live. Yeehaw! <laughs>